I remember it was the 16th morning of October, 1930. My sister's little girl, Flossie Doolin, was going around the field to a soup kitchen where that we had emptied in the spring, in April, all our canned stuff that we had canned up. And every bit of food we had, we throwed it all together to make soup and try to save the lives of the children. When the miners was blacklisted, 1,100 of them, for joining the United Mine Workers of America, and John L. Lewis had promised that he would see to us if the miners was blacklisted, because the coal miners had made a pledge with each other, they'd never work another Union man. And John L. Lewis sold us out in 19 and 25, and the Union was broke. So these children was going to the soup kitchen, and all the tops of their little feet was busted open from the cold wind, and you could track them from the blood running down between their toes. They was barefooted and wearing little thin cotton shirts and them all ragged and tore. And so they waked me and I went to the door and I asked my sister's little girl, Flossie, I said, what are you doing with these children out here in the cold rain and them all naked and barefooted? And she said, Aunt Molly, some of these children have not had a bite to eat since day before yesterday. And I'm going to try to get him a warm bowl of soup at the soup kitchen. And my own little son, Henry Jackson, he said, they won't have anything this morning, only gravy and cornbread, he said. Can't you fix me a bite of something, Ma? And I said, Henry, you know there's not a teaspoon of salt. I said, according to my leadership, we all put the last teaspoonful of salt and soda even, it's all out there. You go and fire with the others. If they have anything in that soup kitchen, it's for everybody, I said. So he went on, and I sat down at the dining room table, and with the pains in my heart from the condition, as I often do, I composed a song of the condition of the people, which is the only kind of a song that is a folk song is what the folks composes out of their really lives, out of their sorrow and out of their happiness and all. I am a union woman, as brave as I can be. I do not like the bosses, and the bosses don't like me. Join the NMU, join the NMU. John NMU, oh, John NMU. I was raised in old Kentucky, Kentucky born and bred. When I joined the NMU, well, they called me a Russian red. John NMU, oh, John NMU. John NMU, John NMU. My husband asked the boss for a job, and these is the words he said. Bill Jackson, I can't work you, sir, cause your wife's a Russian red. John NMU, oh, John NMU. John NMU, John NMU. These is the worst times that I have ever saw. You get shot down by gun thugs, you get framed up by the law. John NMU, oh, John NMU. John NMU, John NMU. Our bosses ride fine horses and we walk in the mud. Their banner is a dollar sign and ours is striped with blood. John NMU, oh, John NMU. John NMU, John NMU. If you want to join a union as strong as it can be, join the dear old NMU and come along with me. 
John and M U O John and M U John and M U right now John and M U